All right, so I am headed over to Heikmeister's house today, uh, actually. It's uh, an interesting afternoon. It's kind of ugly. It's kind of whiny looking. It's kind of cloudy, but hot as blazes because I'm sweating to death already. And I think the plan is to try to get into the water today. And then I think I'm going to try to talk him into doing some um, uh, deep drop. No, not deep dropping. Sorry. 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 Not deep dropping. But deep dropping with slow pitch jigs because I haven't done any jigging for a while. Neither one of us have fished together for a while. So. And the reason is, is that we both have had life happening. And so it's the first opportunity we've had in probably about a month to get together and, uh, and just kind of shoot the shit um, and go out there and, uh, and fish together and do the things that we like to do. So follow me. It's always a good time when I'm fishing with, uh, with the Heikmeister. And um, yeah, should be a good, uh, really good time. So, all right. And we're looking forward to something special today. I don't know what it is, but I have a feeling something special is going to happen. So just stay tuned. I think it's going to be great. You guys know the... Uh, you probably know the route by heart <laughs> how to get to his house from our house. So sometimes I'll be out in the backyard and people will come by in boats just to say hello. It's, kind of, it's a little unnerving sometimes, but it's okay. As long as you're friendly and you wave and you say hi and leave money, that's always a good thing. So we'll always, we'll always wave back. If you're going to leave money on, on the dock, that's awesome. So anyway, we are, uh, we are heading down the road, the old familiar road. Watch out for that hole. Tell you what, Monroe County has not been spending a lot of money on their roads lately, as you can tell. But um, gonna come up here and be on our way. There's always traffic on this road, so please be careful when you are traveling on this road. Because some people they'll roll, they'll roll at like 60, 65 miles an hour, not realizing that the 45 mile an hour um, speed limit is in place because people are coming out from the side roads all the time. And it's really hard sometimes to judge how fast somebody's barreling down this road and somebody will pull out right in front of you. I'm not knowing. I mean, they'll pull out thinking that you're going the speed limit. Meanwhile, you're on a mic, you know, like, like quick. So anyway, it's going to be a very, very, very good afternoon. I can just feel it in my bones. I made it. So uh, he, hasn't, he hasn't heard me yet, but we're, uh, I got some, uh, I got my new, well, not my new, my new-ish chicken rod it's still a goofish because i love the goofish and now i've got a, a little uh, oshia jigger by shimano pretty cool looking little reel so um i've used it before with great enthusiasm i still love my other reels i still love my gomexes but uh, this is just a little something different and uh yeah i got some dive gear and we're gonna go make it happen this afternoon i hear whistling in the background who could that be <laughs> Who could it be now? There he is. Who could it be now? There you go. Star number two of the show. I'm star number one. <laughs> Danny's number one. We'll see, who, right, we'll see who pulls up our rockfish today. Oh, shit. <laughs> that again. <laughs> wow, look at your bees, man. They are cranking. Yeah. Huh. Dang. I nice. I don't care about the swarm. Huh? You got the top on now, so. It took me way too long to put that top on there. I had some scouts looking at my box the other day, but then they left. <laughs> oh, like you saw them check it out? Yeah, there was That's like... It's always so exciting when they do that. Yeah, they come around. I'm like, okay, okay, do you like it? What could I do to help out? If a scout goes in there, like, they could be in there within an hour or two. Oh, is that right? They, they can come that quick? Yeah, I mean, every time I've seen beans be swarm, they pick a place within, like, six hours. Then they just go. Yeah, so that's why, like, when you see them swarm, it's like, get them! I've never seen a swarm yet. It's kind of scary. Yeah? I'd yeah. like to see it. Like, the, my backyard, the entire backyard, there's bees oh, everywhere. Oh, they were just zip. Oh, man, see, and I it's love that. terrifying. I mean, I like it. But yeah, I'd love that. Shoot. Everyone in my house is freaking <laughs> No, the bees have come. Look at you guys. You guys look great. Come on over to my house. I have a beautiful house waiting for you. You would love it. Okay, I'll get out of your way. We're gonna go fish, but we come across what looks like a wrecked boat. There it is, it's upside down. That's a wrecked boat. Yeah. Upside it's down. It's got a Coast Guard sticker on it. It's got a Coast Guard sticker on it. Son of a gun. It's completely upside down. The bow is to the right. I wonder if it's got an engine on it. What in the hell? Dude. That was a, I mean, that was a good sized boat. Yeah, it's still got the engine on it. 
And it's got, look, it's got, it's got the bow sticking out. I bet she's got everything on that thing. It looks new, too. You see the stainless steel? Uh... Oh, man, it's got the edge. Oh, man. <laughs> Damn, look at that. That it's is... I kind of want to swim up under and see if there's a Yeti cooler or something. Uh, I think... Uh... <laughs> To the victor go to the spoils. <laughs> <laughs> I always wanted to do it. <laughs> that is, a, it's a newer boat. I mean, you could tell the hull is clean. I'm whoa, bring whoa. Us right up to All it. right. Yeah, oh. there's not a speck on that. No, it's a beautiful looking boat. I can't imagine what happened can here. Can we claim it? No, <laughs> I don't think we can claim it. I mean, it. that might be like a 20 grand boat right there. Is there a transducer on there? Ah, uh, you know what? It looks yeah, like it. Yeah, what if it had an air bar right on it? <laughs> this is unbelievable, man. The engine is sticking out. It's completely upside down. That's got to be a 24-foot boat. Anybody missing their boat? Holy mackerel. Notice. I wonder what the notice says. Leave this boat alone, probably. Can you, zero, can you zip in on it? It says, uh, notice something. I think it's stuck. I think oh, it's stuck. they tied it. Oh, oh it's anchored. It's anchored to the... Man, this might be like a, this might be a, um, like an investigation or something. It's, it's a beautiful boat. It's in, it's in real, really good shape. Too bad we didn't find this like five, ten miles offshore. Yeah. All right. Very interesting. You never know what you find out here, man. You never know. Somebody's insurance claim is out here. You know what's really scary? You're out here at night, you're rolling at 20, 30 knots. You're never gonna see that boat. Yeah, you're gonna smack that. That would be, I mean, there's nothing out here to stop you from slamming into that thing. Yeah. Yep. Pretty scary stuff, man. Pretty scary stuff, and somebody, somebody lost a boat. I mean, what I don't understand is how they have it. They have it anchored pretty, pretty secure. Yeah, they do. All right, so I got Aquaman Heiko in the water on his way to go see what's in, what's on that ship. But he's gonna read the notice first to make sure that we're not doing anything illegal, immoral, or indecent. So he's on his way over there, snorkeling. Obviously, I don't want to get too close to it, but it, uh, it is certainly... This is really, I mean, it's kind of tragic. I mean, it's a beautiful boat. I'm on the other side, obviously. It does not look like, well, it looks like the whole scrape on the bottom, but not enough to put a hole in it. I don't know how this thing would have flipped. And I feel bad for whoever it is. Yeah, honestly, just another reason to really be careful out here. Uh, I mean, you never, never know what you're gonna find out here. And this is relatively shallow. I mean, we're in 10, 12 feet of water. So, and it's right behind me. I mean, there it is. All right, we're gonna take off and now we're gonna go do some fishing again before the end of the day. But uh, yeah, we're gonna see what happens. <laughs> We showed you the, shunk, the sunken boat. So Heiko claimed that for his own. <laughs> we'll be dragging it on his yard next week. <laughs> and now we're gonna do some, actually Heiko's doing some deep dropping with the PC Fun Kraken, right? The electric Kraken. reel. The Kraken reel. So, so far that thing has been great. And uh, I am going to take a 300 gram jig, drop that baby down to the bottom. And uh, we're gonna work, uh, we're gonna work the bottom with the jig. Heiko's gonna work the bottom with uh, some bait and we're gonna see what we can come up with. So follow us. This has been a really cool day so far. It's not a rock. Uh, well, listen, I probably plucked this off a rock, so I'm getting close. Gave a rock a haircut. I'm, get, I'm getting close. <laughs> Damn. You can could, you could tell I'm working the bottom. I am working the bottom. All right, now let's go work some fish. That must be a pretty bottom down there to pull up this stuff. 
Days like today are the days that we talk about in the winter time. It's like, man, we can't wait till the summer. Purple water. No wind. That's gorgeous. Thunder on down. Come on, baby. We are near the bottom. I got a big juicy jig for you. Yeah, come get your jig. Big, big, big chunk of metal. Delicious. We're marking fish on the bottom. We're marking. I'll show you guys what the bottom looks like here in a second. See, we are on the bottom. Look at this. Look at that. Lots of fish. That's a lot of fish down there. We're only in 110 feet, so this is actually like kind of way too shallow. But maybe we'll get lucky. Listen, wherever the fish are. I need to be on your side. You're on the right side. Yeah, you're right because we're drifting very quickly. First drop. This reel, I really like this. I don't blame it. It's a nice reel. Wish they'd send me one. <laughs> Dan wants one. I want one. Dan wants one. There's a fish on there. Nice. What do we got? What do we got? Oh, a mangrove snapper. A mangrove snapper. <laughs> a keeper, too. A mangrove snapper in the middle of the ocean in 110 feet. This might be my first mangrove snapper on the deep drop. That's awesome. I am not complaining at all. There you go. Great eating fish. And it's a nice sandwich right there. Yep. As soon as you hit the bottom, I want instant gratification. Oh, I'm on the bottom. I'll give it some extra line. Oh, done. Let's Me too. Get to the bottom. Oh my God, the bottom is lit up. Come on. There's fish down there. Come on, baby. Where are you at? I wonder what they are down there. I'm getting bit. I don't know if I have a fish on or not, but I'm going to bring mine up. Are we already past the... Uh... We're still marking stuff, but... Alright, so in true fashion, here we are. Beautiful clear out there. And we go into the sloppy stuff over there. At least the good news is we can see it. And we can run! That's loud. That's a big one. Big old thunder in the background. It sounds like artillery fire. Hmm. The boom, boom, boom. Yeah. And it's like, oh, wait for it coming. <laughs> 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 You're laughing. One of these days, <laughs> I'm going to see a mushroom cloud over Miami. <laughs> One day I'm going to hear incoming and I'll think just about this one. I'll be like... Let's see what we got. Nothing. Nothing there. Nothing there. Nipple though, like, ah, uh, I should have brought some squid. What was I thinking? Yeah, the squid's the deal, bro. All right, a little try. I don't know what the hell that is. At least we're going to end it on a very pretty, pretty moment. That's a weird looking fish that you got. Yeah. He's got, big, at, he's got buggy eyes. The yeah. big, big old bug eyes. I and mean, he's got those teeth too. Look at those teeth. Got rock eating teeth. Uh, um, um, um. Yep. All right. Yeah, he's got dude. some. Oh, oh, I would not want to put anything in that mouth. Look at this though. He's got a beautiful little fin over here. What is that? Oh, yeah, he's got that's like, a spike. Wow. You see that spike? Yeah, he's got one on this side oh, too. Oh man. Pretty blues. I don't know what you are. Cool, cool fish though. Yeah, very cool. All right. All right, you're lucky going back. He yeah. took off like a rocket. So here's the deal. We got to get the heck out of here because guess what? It's that time of day again when the storms have found us. You know what I think? I think we go out, they look for us, and then eventually, in most cases, they find us. And then they come and attack. And right now, that's what's going on. So we're being attacked from the land. The sea is beautiful. It's gorgeous out there. This is all coming from the land. So we're gonna have to fight it going in, right? As usual. All right, well, whatever. I'm gonna need a drink when I get back, just to calm my nerves. You know, you don't know what it's like being out here with him. 
<laughs> you have no idea what it's like being out here with this crazy captain. Well, you know. It's terrifying. We'll put some hair on your chest. Or, or take it off. It'll rip it right off. <laughs> yeah, depends on the day of the week. <laughs> All right, we, we're going to head on back. So I would say follow us, but not into the gates of hell. I think we'll be okay. Famous last words. We'll be okay. We'll be okay. You got your Lamborghini jigging rod. Yeah, <laughs> I was just introducing that again. <laughs> I love that thing, man. Yeah, that thing is sleek. All right, it's time to film a fishing intro. episode. <laughs> look, he's doing his Argo, intro. Baby. Look, he's doing his intro. <laughs> yeah, look at look who we got over here. Hey, I'm back. We got Dan. You thought I was gone. <laughs> it's been like a month since we fished. It has been a long time, man. It's been a while. It's beautiful out, except for the fact that those clouds are starting to form up over there. And you know, whenever I'm with you and you're with me, Death is always imminent. Death is. We're, we like to rise. It's always close. Sharp edge. It's very close. Alive and dead. <laughs> yeah. yeah. All right, so we got done. We got done lobster scouting. We found a lot of lobsters, but we don't want to tell you that. So we found some. <laughs> yeah, we found a nice chunk of them. All right. Some some cow balls. Yeah. <laughs> what do you got there? There's some good old. These are the best steep drop weights. There you go. Town. Fishing with cow balls. <laughs> cow balls. <laughs> Bull ball. Holy crap. <laughs> okay. Yeah, you like that. Listen, hey, you gotta gotta improvise, man. What do they say in the Air Force? Adapt and overcome. Cow balls going down, yeah. cow balls in. Going down fast. Jig down. Let's see what we can come up with. Come on, baby, hit the bottom. I really want mine to bend over. <laughs> We're getting the right, <laughs> Sounds very sexual over there. I wanted, I wanted, to, to, bend I wanted to bend over a lot. Bend over right in front of my face. Damn. <laughs> what was I thinking? There you go. There they are. There they are. Ah, the famous cow balls. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they're like bouncing off each other. Ouch, ouch, ouch. <laughs> <laughs> Poor Elizabeth.